What's the most uncomfortable question you can ask someone? How come I wasn't invited? For extra cringe, ask this in a loud voice as you crash an ongoing party that you were not invited to. Bonus points if you start hyperventilate crying. When I was like 11 I actually did this. I had no idea why I wasn't invited and I convinced my parents that I was, I got dropped off, and actually started crying midway through because I was just wondering why I wasn't invited. I was not a good 11 year old. You set off a memory of being 14 fifteenths and discovering my friends had a sleepover and they hadn't invited me. I was crushed. They did say it was because they thought my mum wouldn't let me go, which would have been true but my poor teenage brain went straight to you're a loser, no one wants you mode. Unfortunately my mind says the same thing, sad face, but it's okay. People will want you and you will be best person ever, smiley face, unfortunately my mind never left this face. Yab. I did this at age 20. My mother had a full blown wedding. I lived with her at the time. Everyone knew she was getting married except me, the one person who did everything for her, aside from my stepdad. I literally paid more than half the bills to that house when I lived with her. My five other siblings knew. Even the dog knew. He was in a fucking suit. I literally came out of my bedroom in my work uniform and saw my mother leaving in a wedding dress and a ton of family members all dressed in formal attire. Her excuse was because you're always working. This just made me emotional and angry all over again. Edit, thanks for all the love guys. Me and my mom always had a close relationship up until then. I moved out immediately and got my own place. I still communicate with her but I keep myself distant. Turns out the rent money I paid over time went to fund the wedding. I'm guessing you're not paying those bills anymore? Let's hope not. Fuck that. Last summer I got sent a picture of what looked to be a bunch of chairs set up outside from one of my really good college friends. With the caption when are you getting here? Can't wait to see you. I had no idea what she was talking about so I said um? Where are you? She replied with what are you talking about? I met Becca's wedding Becca was like my closest friend for years and I had no idea she was getting married. That shit fucking stung for me. And that doesn't even compare to this. I have a funny, similar, but happier story. I was hospitalized for a little over a week in college getting morphine consistently. I finally got back to college, and I heard so many rumblings of getting invited to one of my best friend's wedding. It's been weeks and I didn't get an invite. I was so freaking mad at him. He finally pulled me aside and said are you mad at me for not sending you an invite? I asked you three times for an address. In fact yours is still in my apartment waiting to be sent out. I went through my texts and sure enough. I was just so drugged out on morphine that I had no memory of his texts lmao. In high school, this one kid in my circle of friends had a party and literally invited every other person we were friends with but he didn't like me so I wasn't invited. It was a beautiful Friday night in the springtime, and it was perfect weather to go out and do stuff, but I had nobody to hang out with because they were all there. On Monday, I straight up asked him, Hey, if you're not going to invite me to something next time, can you at least leave me someone to hang out with? I don't know how that made me look, but at that point I didn't care. I once called my mom to chat and when I asked what she was up to, she said that my brother was over, making dinner for my sister for her birthday. I was slightly stung that I wasn't included, but I figured that they were keeping it small just my brother, sister, and parents. It gradually came out that our two other siblings were there. And my nephews. And my nephew's girlfriend. But at no point did my mom suggest that I should come over too. So I sat in my apartment alone and watched friends. The weird thing is, I don't have a bad relationship with my family. They usually include me in things. I don't have much in common with most of them, they're cool and I'm pretty dorky, they're into guns and I'm not, but we get along and are fond of each other. I did this sorta unintentionally in college. 
A work slash school acquaintance was having a birthday party that night and I invited myself over because I was a college freshman and I didn't want to be left out of any parties. Turns out it was a more private affair with maybe 10 people. I felt awful about it, but she was just too nice to tell me no. I cringed so freaking hard. Ugh. My best friend had a miscarriage, a bad one the twins were born too prematurely and passed away. I hope nobody said this to her if they did, I would have pounded them. Once at a gathering, a friend whispered to me later wasn't she pregnant last time I saw her? What happened? And I told him. Luckily he didn't say it to her face. Something like this happened to me. A girl I worked with was pregnant and ended up taking leave just before giving birth. Several months later she was back at work part time and she seemed totally normal so I wanted to be nice and said something like hey there's the new mom. Great to see you again, super happy for you. How's the baby doing? A dude I worked with was behind her and saw us talking and started waving his hands while silently mouthing oh god no stop sorta of stuff but it was way too late. She said she lost the baby due to miscarriage. Oh. Whoops. I will never ask anyone that question again. I had zero clue it happened and nobody had mentioned a thing about it when she came back. I felt terrible about it.